Hi guys, it's Claire from Nursing Secrets. Today I'm going to tell you how you can save over £2,000 just like I did at uni in just one year without doing much sacrifice at all. I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, it's easy to do. So there's four so there's four so there's four simple steps to be able to do this like I did so to save over two thousand pounds in one uni year and that's over six thousand pounds in your three-year course okay so the first step is moving from Sainsbury's to Aldi and I know some of you for say for some of you Sainsbury's might be really convenient and near like me it's really near to my house at the moment and sometimes it's really hard not to walk by and pick a few things up and I completely understand that I'm the same I still buy like lunches and stuff there sometimes but like my weekly shop I've completely stopped doing in Sainsbury's so I was buying a list I'll actually share with you the list one second I have it on my phone um this is kind of my weekly list of what I would typically buy in a week so I used to do this exact shop in Sainsbury's and I would this list which I'll read now would equal to quite a shocking amount, I'll share with you. So I would get bread, soy milk, chicken, chicken seasoning, tuna, pasta, sweet corn, granola, soy yogurt, broccoli, stir fry veg, sauce for the stir fry, noodles, rice, and beef pieces. So that all equated to 27 pounds 10. And at the time I didn't think it was much, I was like that's for one person for a full week of food, like that's quite good. But then I realized one day when I went um, Aldi with my friend, I was like, this place is so cheap and they do everything that I want for like half the price. And it's also really good quality and I actually really like their meat because I was a bit apprehensive, not gonna lie, about like trying their meat, but there's actually completely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So my Sainsbury shop, as I said, was 27 pounds 10. And then the first time I did that exact same list in Aldi, it was equal to £17.81p. So in total, I've actually made these today. So in total, I have saved £9,000 <laughs> £9, per week. I don't know, I hope that's focusing. Okay, so that's per week, which is crazy. So I've made these per four um, tips I'm going to share with you today. Okay, so that's it for Sainsbury's and Aldi because that's just a really good one. So that's £9.29p and per week. So over the year this is going to be a lot and we're going to share that with you later. Okay, so the next thing um, I'm going to talk about, number two, is changing from getting... So... I found this really hard at the start. So it's changing from getting like cappuccinos, lattes and everything in Pret or Costa. I go to Pret because I just really like their coffee. Um, and I normally get coffee about three times a week, which I know for some of you might be a lot and others you might get it six, seven times a week. So it just depends. But I used to get a cappuccino, um, a soy milk cappuccino from there and I'm actually lactose intolerant. So that would be 2.45 for one uh, soy cappuccino or the coconut milk is an extra 50p um so that would be like over three pounds nearly three pounds <laughs> my bad is so bad to get that and one day I went with my friend and she got a filter coffee but with she's lactose intolerant too I feel like everybody is but just can't admit it got soy milk in her filter coffee but also got a shot of and flavoring because the filter coffee is like not the nicest but we brought I'll show you we bring our reusable cup so this is mine from Waitrose so this was three pounds in Waitrose which is a bargain um, and then we brought that with us and in Pret you actually get 50p off so now my coffees are just over 80p instead of 249 because the reusable cup is 50p off so from going from 245 um, pounds for a coffee three times a week which was 7.35 um, per week to a filter coffee with hazelnut, vanilla or caramel shot and soy milk, so still dairy free, for 2.40 per week. So per week, 
my coffee now is the price is less than one coffee normally, which is crazy. So this is the overall saving. So that is four ninety five per week. So I'm nearly saving a fiver on week just by making that small change. And like, I don't notice any difference and I'm not sick from it because it's still dairy free. And it's so nice because I get the shot. And I normally thought the shot was so expensive, but now that I'm getting the 50p off with the reusable cup, it's like, it's a win. Okay, so now the next one, this isn't for everyone because I know most people, some of you probably walk everywhere and don't get the bus that often, but I used to get the bus all the time. And here in Southampton, it's 350 for a return, which is quite expensive. I know some places are more expensive in Dublin, it's definitely more expensive. So um, um, placement, at the start of placement, I was lucky enough to be gifted a bike by my boyfriend's family. And they gave me a bike, so now I cycle everywhere and I haven't got the bus in like over six months. So, if I was to get the bus uh, four times a week, so let's say if I was going to placement in the general four times a week, I would be saving £14 per week. So this is crazy amount, and I know for some of you, you might never get the bus, so it might be irrelevant, but it just is something to think about. And then, this is a big one. So, I used to be such a big fan, this is step number four, tip number four. So I used to be such a fan of having um, like M&S meal deals for lunch and like Tesco meal deals. The M&S ones are four pounds and the Tesco ones are three pounds. I know my stuff. So I used to be a huge fan of these because you get your sandwich, your crisps and a really nice drink. But like they're not even that filling. So I used to be like kind of so hungry afterwards and you've just spent nearly a fiver on one meal. So I don't think they're very good value. So I've stopped doing that completely. And now I buy, um, I still buy lunch a lot of the time to bring to uni, but it's 150 compared to uh, four pounds. So now what I do is I buy um, like a bag of salad for like 50p or 60p, and then just um, a thing of chicken, which is 75p in, in um, Aldi. And then I, get that and I put it together and then I bring my own like sweet chili sauce and it's like a chicken salad for like less than 150 so that's really good so I have switched from buying meal deals four times a week to now buying no five times a week let's say because that would be as much times as you know Monday to Friday let's say uni and then we can worry about the weekend I spend a bit more on the weekends as well so don't worry so now we have saved 12.50. So this is from, just from switching from buying lunch every day, five times a week, to bringing your own lunch or still buying, but the cheaper alternative. So they're my four steps that I have done to change my lifestyle and my money habits. Because there was a point recently, a few months back where I hadn't looked at my bank account in a while and I remember just feeling so shocked and sad because I didn't realise like actually how much I was spending and I feel like that's the same with a lot of my friends like with going out and everything as well like the money just keeps going and like nothing's coming in and it's just going 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 so um yeah I thought I had to make a change so they're the four like easy very easy changes I've made and I'm still super happy it hasn't affected my happiness and I've actually felt happier because of it because I know I'm like being smart my money instead of I used to be so bad just spending left right and center so now we get on to the fun part we're going to talk about like our total savings so per week just by doing these four things we have saved a total of 40 pounds 74 p what? It's crazy. It's so much money. So we have saved that. And then if you think about that being per week, and then we times that by 52, that's when we get the number over 2000. So it's actually 2118 and 48 P. So that is a crazy amount. When I think about having two grand in my account, I'm like, whoa, that's so much. But like, that's what was going out of my account every year because of these habits. 
and then over the three year course this is equal to six grand because obviously you're at home for some of it or some weeks you spend a lot less and we spend a lot more so we said over six grand for the three years which is still a crazy crazy amount so I hope this helped I'm not trying to preach I'm just trying to help anyone who is in the same boat as me and who just found themselves spending a little bit too much on things that they didn't need to buy so I hope this helped and if it did let me know in the comments and it was really nice talking again bye